A bamboo table, no nails, no glue, no machines. All made by hand, with fire, and with patience. How long do you think it took? Three days? Three weeks? Follow along to discover the surprising process behind this seemingly familiar object. Each chisel stroke is regular and neat. The worker drills each small hole in the marked position. Each chisel stroke is not only a technique, but also patience and precision down to the last millimeter. The parts are assembled like a puzzle. The craftsman drills precise holes, then uses small bamboo sticks as rivets. No glue, no screws, just bamboo holding bamboo, strong and durable. After the table legs are completed, the craftsman continues to measure the tabletop. Every line, every chisel is carefully aligned, fitting to the millimeter. The upper frame must be very strong because that is where the sole of the table is supported. Bamboo is heated over a fire to become more flexible. The craftsman skillfully bends each bamboo stick, pressing it against the assembled table leg. Each curve is not only a technique, but also the flexibility of a skilled hand. The remaining parts of the table legs are meticulously joined together, matching every detail. The craftsman uses a large rope tightly wrapped around the joint instead of screws a traditional way of fixing both sturdy and preserving the rustic beauty of bamboo. Each joint is drilled precisely right at the point of contact. The craftsman continues to hammer in bamboo pegs, keeping every joint tightly connected as a seamless block. No metal is used, just bamboo connecting bamboo, rustic but durable over time. Now comes the most important part, the tabletop. The craftsman skillfully arranges each bamboo stick into the mold neatly and evenly. Each bamboo stick is drilled with holes fixed one by one, tight, meticulous to every detail. After completing the assembly, the craftsman gently applied a layer of clear paint to the entire table. The paint layer not only beautifies, but also helps protect each piece of bamboo from sun, rain, and time. Under the light, the tabletop shines golden yellow, both simple and elegant. With skillful hands, the craftsman begins to weave each thin bamboo strand. The pattern gradually emerges, regular and sophisticated, like a picture woven from bamboo. Each weaving line is a cultural feature, simple but profound. Once the weaving is complete, the craftsman will fix it to the tabletop and use small bamboo pegs to firmly secure it. Finally, the craftsman gently wipes the last layer of protective oil. The black and yellow patterns appear sharp, both classic and sophisticated. The bamboo table is not only for use, but also for viewing to remember an old profession.
In a remote mountainous area, there's no sound of machinery, no electricity. However, with only stone, wood, and water, a craftsman has created something that makes everyone admire. A completely handmade machine that can operate all day and night without consuming a drop of gasoline. This is not just a water wheel, but the wisdom of our ancestors revolving in the midst of majestic nature. The tree trunk is brought to where each cut must be as precise as nature calculated. The craftsman carefully peels off the rough bark, then measures each section, each angle, each saw stroke, each axe stroke, all with experience. Finally, with a handmade wood plane, he begins to smooth the surface of the wood, creating the first shape of a traditional water wheel that is about to be born. The craftsman uses a hand-chiseled axe to create wooden bolt holes. These small holes are the key points to fix the entire vehicle structure, ensuring firmness and stability during operation. Next comes the head chisel. This is the protruding end that helps the wooden slats fit together tightly, a traditional assembly technique that does not use nails or glue. After completing the main shaft, the craftsman continues to assemble the body of the car. Each wooden joint is precisely measured and carefully assembled. This is the backbone of the wheel, the place that bears all the rotational force and transmission from the water flow. When all the parts were finished, the craftsman took all the materials to the stream. This is where the car would be placed to operate by water power. Each large stone was used to fix the body of the car firmly in the middle of nature. A hand-carved stone trough is placed precisely in the prepared location. This will receive the thrust from the water wheel. This curved push arm is the moving sole of the entire system. It is directly connected to the rotating shaft of the water wheel, converting the energy of the flow into a steady push rhythm, like the heartbeat of a machine living in the mountains and forests. Finally, the water from the gorge is diverted to the trough. 
Each cool stream pours down onto the wheel, causing it to start moving, steadily, rhythmically, like the breath of heaven and earth merging into the cycle of labor. The water cart, simple yet elegant, has returned to the wild. A testament to the ingenuity of ancient people. When human hands knew how to use the power of water to serve life, without the need for motors or electricity.